guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about tattooing and I'm going to take you guys to my tattoo parlor in Hong Kong. I'm currently in Singapore right now. I've been filming with Danica. Check her out at DMT Stylist. It's really loud outside my hotel room right now. Oh my god, shut up! I am getting tattooed with Maria at Freedom Tattoo in Tokwa Wan in Hong Kong. So I'm actually quite excited about this tattoo appointment and um, a little bit nervous as well because it's actually gonna go over my shoulder piece right there. If you guys have not ever gotten tattooed before, make sure to eat beforehand because you're probably gonna be sitting there for a little while, consultation and also um, stenciling and all that stuff. All right, so I have applied my numbing cream and I just applied it onto the area that I am going to get tattooed and you apply a generous amount and let it sit basically for an hour. I'm gonna wrap it up with saran wrap and cling wrap and you know, keep it really nice and tidy. Also, what I used um, on my shoulder it is this is an anesthetic cream so basically it numbs the skin that you're gonna get tattooed on my friend actually got this for me so I'm not quite sure which website uh, he got it from but I could link this in the description box below later on I had to open my door. Go! Be quiet! I am recording, child. This is not happening to my video. Let's talk about how to decide what you want to get um, tattooed on your body. By no means encouraging anybody that is viewing this video to get tattoos done. This is a personal preference and I just love tattooing. I think it's beautiful. But whenever I look down at my tattoos, there's always a memory. It may not mean anything to anybody else and some people might think that I have ugly tattoos but I really don't give a shit. So yeah, so selecting a tattoo is very very important. Do lots and lots of research. You have to make sure that I know what kind of style I want. There is portrait style like what Kat Von D does. And then there's old school tattoo, new school tattoo, graffiti, watercolor style, Chinese kind of portraits. There are just tons of things that you can get tattooed on your body. So make sure that you guys are finding the correct artist for the correct tattoo. So once you find that tattoo artist, you want to make sure that you're going to go see them personally, have a consultation, almost like a hair appointment or a makeup appointment. Basically show them your ideas, your references, and bring as many reference as possible. Your tattoo artist is never going to turn you away with too many references because if you're specific on what you want, you know, make your tattoos as beautiful and as suitable for yourself as possible. Another tip that I would probably give you guys is that when you guys are getting a tattoo done, make sure to see a copy of what you're getting done on your tattoo because it's gonna be on your body for the rest of your life and you don't want something that is crazy and you're gonna regret in like 10 years. Don't hesitate to ask your tattoo artist to change things and add things and do this and do that because that's what they're there for. That's what they're supposed to do. It's part of their job. Don't get anything done tattooed on your body if you don't feel comfortable with the drawing. All right, let's talk about cleansing and caring for your own tattoo. So this is clearly just through my own experience of taking care of my tattoos and stuff like that. So the first step you wanna do after you get your tattoo done is you're gonna be walking around with a bandage, okay? So that bandage on your wherever part of your body is gonna stay on your body for I think roughly about two to three hours. That's what I usually leave it on for. You may experience some pain, you also may experience some bleeding depending on how much 
your tattooing and how long your tattoo session is going to be. So don't be alarmed and it will be a little bit swollen. Within that two to three hours, do not drink. Do not take any drugs because that will thin out your blood and it will cause any sort of bleeding and stuff like that. So you want to try and avoid that. After the two to three hours of the bandage being on your body, you can remove it. You may want to jump in the shower right away with some warm water, warm to cooler water, because if it's too hot, it may be a little bit too sensitive on your skin. And I'm always advised by my tattoo artist to use something that is fragrance free, like a soap or something something to cleanse the tattooed area. And then after you come out of the shower, you just want to use a dark towel because some of the ink might leak out and it will, you know, destroy the towel that you have if it's completely white. Basically, you just pat dry the area that you have tattooed and this is what I have found in... Actually, where did I find this? I found this in Melbourne when I got my tattoo done at Tattoo Chapel? Chapel Tattoo? Yeah, I think it was Chapel Tattoo. Anyways, this tattoo artist that did this... Oh, can you see that? Can you guys see? Anyways, this tattoo right here. He recommended me to use actually this antiseptic cream for nappy rash if you guys can see that and by far using a lot of different creams this my friend is definitely my favorite product to use on my tattoos since i have used this cream my tattoos heal like like that like in a snap of a finger within i think a week or two weeks at most so you basically want to apply this whenever you shower so usually i shower first thing in the morning and also at night before i go to bed so that's basically it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it that's all my tips and tricks that i've learned throughout the years of tattooing let me know if you guys have any questions leave me a comment down below and also like my video and subscribe to to my channel if you guys have not done that yet and I will see you guys very soon.